Welcome. In front of me is an Asus Zenfone 8 Flip and today I will show you how to record a screen on this phone. So to get started you want to pull down the notification panel and for me the toggle for it is on the second page right over here. So once you find it you can tap on it to immediately start recording or also hold it which will take us to the settings where you'll have the option to customize a couple different things so it records just the way you want it. So starting off we have resolution, uh, it's set to max, so that's at least nice. Quality, high, again, max. Frame rate, uh, that's not max. Uh, it's set to 48, kind of a weird place. Um, now I recommend you to set it to 60. This will be probably the best quality and also everybody else around can use the full frame rate of it. If you start recording at 90, it will be taking more of your space uh, on the well, when you're recording it and uh, only I guess you and not many people will be able to benefit from that screen recording because it is recording at a higher frame rate than major of the people's phones can display it at. So uh, just to put that in perspective most of the phones uh, if it's not any kind of like new device that came out from like end of 2020 and beginning of 21 uh, most of those devices run at 60 frames anything above that just kind of gets lost so anyway you can set it to 60 that, that is what i would recommend uh, then going back we have storage location now here i only have no i do have an sd which i could change it to that if i wanted to also if you have some kind of usb uh, c storage which you can plug into the device it will show up here as well and you can choose to save it on this one as well then we have orientation probably keep it as it is that will be the easiest way uh, that mean uh, that way when you're holding the phone a specific position that you want that you're seeing it for instance like right here a portrait mode it will record in portrait and not for instance a landscape which will make everything look sideways now below that we have a record audio so here is one of those things which is a little bit limiting so you can record microphone or internal audio or nothing but we don't have option to record both so microphone and internal so it's a little bit of a shame here but anyway pick whichever audio you want gonna actually change it oh, I'm gonna stick with this one yeah I have countdown before recording whenever you tap on a toggle uh, this way here we have zero second countdown so it automatically records but if you want it to wait for instance three seconds you can select it and when you tap on a toggle it will give you three seconds before it records then we have start recording immediately when screen recorder is turned on which then just defeats the countdown Anyway, below that we have a couple toggles, so we have show touches. Whenever you touch the screen to, I don't know, scroll between pages, uh, do anything, open an app, it will be visible on the recording with a semi-transparent gray dot. Then we have black overlay notifications, so just black notifications, and stop re recording uh, for incoming calls. So when someone calls you or you have an alarm clock, it will stop the recording. So once you have went through all these settings and set it up just the way you want it, you can leave it. Go back to the toggle itself, tap on it, and click on the start, I guess. That's what it, I, I assume meant, that instead of starting immediately or 3 seconds, it gives you this overlay. So now when I tap start, it will come down from 3 and start recording. So whatever I'll do right now will be recorded by the device. Uh, minus things like Netflix, that will not be recorded. If I would want to, let me see. Oh, it gives me some error and just closes. That's nice. So anyway, uh, once you're done with the recording, you can tap on this to, to stop it and it will automatically get saved to your gallery application. So if we open that up, we should find see, screen recorder and there it is. I believe this is the one. So yeah, anyway, that is how you'd record your screen. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.